Hi, welcome. Last time we learned how to create a double vocal and harmonies for our projects. Today, let's take a look into note groups and see how we can use them in order to improve our workflow. So let's get started. Note groups is a feature that allows notes and control points to be grouped together. So let's say, for example, that you have a song like this. Okay, great. Now, let's group this part together by selecting all of the notes, right click in one of them, and choose Merge into Group. Now, we just created a note group. Create a new track, select the voice. On this case, I will choose a male one and I will change the language since that section is in Spanish. Go over to the library panel, click and drag the note group you want to bring to the track. If you want to move the whole group, click on a note that belongs to it and move it. If you just want to move or modify one note, you have to enter the note group by clicking on its header. Then you can move whatever note you want inside of the note group. Modifying a note will also change the same note on the other instances of the note group. Right click and select this bound group to this band one of the instances, so it's no longer treated as a note group. Or choose dissociate group to dissociate instances and they will become separate note groups. If you would like to delete a note group, go to the library panel and delete it. Both instances will be deleted too. Okay, now let's create an octave down harmony by selecting the group in the second track and lowering it down an octave. See how we have two instances of the same group but on different octaves. So let's hear it. Quiero que este sea tu momento. Y que no te falte más el tiempo de mirar a la luna y en el cielo. No te quiero ver caer. Great. An important thing to consider is that if you draw a pitch curve and then create a group, the points will not be included. But when you draw a curve within a group, the points are included in the group. We will explain that in another video. Okay, so today we learned how to group notes and how to manage instances of it. Next time, let's do some fine tuning to our vocals by modifying their parameters. So, see you in the next video.